Hello and welcome to the 15th installment of the Lost Media Chronicles, a show of which covers various lost movies, art, and in this episode's case, historical events. Now, nothing that we've ever covered in previous episodes or ever will cover in future episodes will be as important as what we're going over today. Ever since the beginning of mankind, we've always looked up to the skies wondering how can I, a non-flying human being, get up there, with the most fantasized destination being that of the giant white orb known as the moon. So today, we'll be talking about our long journey getting up to that giant white orb and the associated lost media. This is the Lost Apollo 11 High Definition Video Recordings. Now, there were many attempts to create flying machines throughout human history. Without flight, travel into areas beyond Earth's atmosphere would be impossible. The Wright brothers invented the first successful flying machine in 1902, and mankind has only aimed higher and higher ever since. Of course, when we're talking about space, it would make more sense to say further and further out and away from Earth's atmosphere, instead of saying higher and higher. If you were to ask the average person what country invented the first man-made object that made it into space, most people would shrug their shoulders and say, I don't know. But the few that attempt to answer would say Russia or the United States. The better educated, or if we're gonna be honest, the people who just did a quick Google search or looked it up on Wikipedia would tell you that neither of those answers are correct. It was actually Germany, more specifically Nazi Germany, that got the first man-made object launched into space during its testing of the V-2 rocket with the A-4 on October 3rd, 1942. It took place a full decade before the 1950s, the decade that most people probably would have initially guessed. After World War II, the United States got a hold of the V-2 rocket and the first scientific exploration into space was performed on May 10, 1946, where the first images of Earth taken from outer space also appeared. After this, space travel turned into a full-blown race between the United States and the Soviet Union. In October of 1957, the Soviets launched Sputnik 1, the first satellite to ever orbit Earth. Unlike the advanced satellites of today, this device simply recorded temperature and pressure data and emitted beeps back to Earth. But hey, gotta start somewhere, right? Back in the United States, this caused widespread scare and panic and only increased the fears of nuclear war being reigned on the world. While we know today that the functions of the satellite were relatively simple, at least compared to what was being feared, Americans were not so assured. They thought that these devices that were being launched into space were carrying weapons or were spying on the American people. Of course, this has all been proven false, unless you ask your local conspiracy theorists, that is. As the United States launched their own satellites into space, another race was on to see who could get to the moon first. Each country hit a new and farther landmark with each subsequent mission. Eventually, by 1969, a mission was organized by the United States called Apollo 11. Manned by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, the mission launched on July 16th and landed on the moon on July 20th at 2018 military time, with Neil Armstrong stepping foot onto the moon just a few hours later. Together, Armstrong and Aldrin collected 47.5 pounds of lunar material to be brought back to Earth. Back on Earth, people were watching the moon landing as it was broadcasted back to their televisions. It remains one of the most televised events in history and has been marked as a significant achievement in mankind, probably the biggest significant achievement. With such an important event, you'd think that we would have put forth amazing effort to make sure that it was maintained and saved for future generations to come, right? Well, kinda. You see, you can easily find the video of the moon landings with a simple YouTube search. It exists, but it's in grainy quality. Allegedly, there is a much higher definition recording that exists somewhere out there in the NASA archives. But therein lies the problem. When the landings were originally broadcasted, the footage was beamed to Australia and then reduced in quality to make for easier broadcasting. NASA claims to have saved the full quality version onto half-inch tape reels. But since NASA has literally hundreds of hours worth of these tape reels, and the reel was stored with no context labeled onto it, it has somehow become lost within their own archive. 
And now here we are with the most annoying part of talking about the moon landings, the conspiracy theorists. Uh, uh, um, excuse me! Oh no, come on, man. You promised you'd stay out of the Lost Media Chronicles. You're already annoying enough in Two Beats Plus. I'm afraid that what you just said has offended me. How could I have offended you in any way with what I just said? Conspiracy theories? No, they're conspiracy facts. Look, man, you're destroying the professionalism of this show. Okay, okay, just hear me out for a second. The moon landings were nothing but a hoax. It was all just a ruse to distract the American people from the real problems that were happening. It was just to get us a false sense of security after the assassination of John F. Kennedy and to make us feel superior to the Soviets during the Cold War. Oh, come on, man. Historical events go missing all the time, and at least we have something remaining. Of course the high-definition tapes went lost. That footage was shot in a studio. You hear me? A studio! You are aware that NASA has saved the higher-resolution footage from future missions, right? Those were also shot in the studio, except they were given a bigger budget this time so that way they could hide all of the props and strings. Look man, we can argue about the contradictions between your theories and the facts until the cows come home, but the point still stands is that your theories have been debunked by years of peer-reviewed research and even the Mythbusters laugh at you. Trust me, it's nothing but a joke at this point. Oh great! I knew it! You were brainwashed by the commies this whole time, weren't you? The CIA got a hold of you! Good old Boyne Sanders is just singing you lullabies to your sleep! Okay, you know what? I'm ignoring you and I'm finishing the video. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the theorists say. This remains an important achievement of mankind, and the footage will continue to inspire many people for years to come. One day, hopefully NASA will have the full resolution video of the landings available to us, but for now, the lower resolution footage will have to do. Either ways, it won't quiet the conspiracy theorists, and they'll continue to believe whatever they believe regardless, and will find every single fallacy in the book that they can to prove themselves right. At least in their minds. We'll see you guys next time when we cover a ballet whose choreography has been lost to time. See you later.